everyone at home, including you, know what Street Fighter is. Yes. Fighting game for a long time. It's been around since the 80s, late 80s. And Street Fighter 6 is coming up. Now, for those of you that don't know at home, I am a big gamer. So I've been keeping up with the Street Fighter news. I don't know, Sabi, are you much of a gamer? And do you know what? I was actually talking about Street Fighter today. Like, I miss playing it, yeah. Okay, well, Street Fighter 6 is coming out on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox. And for the longest time, a guy called Ruben Langdon has been the voice of Ken. Ken is the second main character, I guess you could say. We used the first, you know, the guy in the white gi with the headband. I thought it was Ryu. You can say Ryu. I say <laughs> Ryu. Some people say Ru. Um, Ru. Yeah. <laughs> but Ken is Ken's the guy that wears red. Right? Kind of like yeah. what I'm wearing right now. And he's been the voice actor for Ken for, uh, I think, since Street Fighter 4. So he did Street Fighter 4. He did Street Fighter 5. I think he's also the voice actor of Dante and Devil May Cry. So he's been around for quite a while. But he has been removed from being the voice actor of Ken because he sent out a bunch of tweets. Now, I read over the tweets. I personally don't see a problem with them. But as we know, if you lean a certain way politically, then you are liable to lose your job. I feel like I know where this is going. So Ruben sent out a, uh, a bunch of tweets and we'll, we'll read them out to you. Let's try and find them on here. Okay, so the first tweet that was capped and this tweet was done on the 19th of August, 2022. So not that long ago. He said, as the so-called leaders of the world try to bend the agreed upon laws of the land, they expose their true agendas. Don't be a pawn in the control game. Know your rights and own your sovereignty. And that was in response to the Department of Defense has relentlessly violated the law and ignored their religious freedom, Stavis said. So something to do with religion. Um, I don't really understand too much about what the issue was with that. But then he wrote, the fork in the road is coming closer. Which path will you take? And then wrote hashtag Bitcoin. Again, don't see the problem with that. And then this is a tweet about COVID. So we always know that that's a hot topic. He wrote, these are not new studies. They were coming out almost a year ago. Nice to see people finally talking about it publicly, though. And this is in response to one of the vaccines. Don't know if I can read it out loud just because of how YouTube works. But I'll put it up on the screen. He seems to be an anti-vaccine. Basically, he's anti-vax. And then the last tweet is, show me proof where Trump said storm the Capitol and I will apologize. Now, Trump does know how to stir the pot and get people riled up. He is a con man, but it's a small group of assholes who did the damage. Now we have to suffer with the loss of our freedoms. Again, there is nothing in these tweets that should get this man removed from his job. Absolutely nothing. As far as I can yeah. tell, he's had an opinion on something that people might not like. He's made a statement about the insurrection uh, in America where those people stormed the capital and they blamed the i guess the uprising on trump and he's spoken about religious freedoms from what i can see and he's lost his job people on twitter were digging up these tweets and obviously they were going for his neck and now not only are they going for his neck but they're asking for his voice to be recast in other games people just Smash always Brothers. take it to extremes it's just so unnecessary it's actually just so unnecessary it's not that deep the article also says that he has also defended other personalities deemed problematic such as former mma fighter turned actress gina carano of the mandalorian fame and voice actor vic mig oh so so okay so vic was the voice actor if i'm if i'm remembering this correctly vic was the voice actor of broly in dragon ball so for those of you that don't know dragon ball is like the biggest anime in the world you know dragon ball z right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right broly is the the big bad super saiyan vic was the voice actor and gina carano certainly did nothing wrong gina carano made an observation about how american politics is going she didn't say anything racist she didn't say anything problematic and she was basically cast out of hollywood cast out of disney cast out of the star wars show the mandalorian and i think now she's been signed to the daily wire a lot of these people that found these tweets have been asking for the guy that does the voice actor for ken they've been asking for him to be removed from all other games any game that his voice is in they want it gone and his voice is synonymous with ken and with a lot of other characters so it's sad to see him go but what's even more sad is that you can't speak your mind anymore you either lean one way or you lose your job and that goes for most places even even speaking our mind on this youtube channel to even a lesser extent because we haven't said anything that would be deemed egregious or crazy yet is still dangerous mm -hmm. we don't know where the line is the line keeps on getting pushed further mm -hmm. and further back what you can say is being limited more and more as time goes on 
You can't say anything about what's been happening in the last two years. You can't say anything about the Me Too movement without someone jumping down your neck. You can't say anything about Black Lives Matter. You can't say anything about the LGBT community. You can't make criticisms of anyone. And these these might not even be hurtful remarks. These might not be harmful remarks, as people like to say. Just observations about something you might not like. Yeah. Something you saw that you disagree with and you lose your job over it. Yeah, it's that like is, you're walking on eggshells yeah. because at any minute it could all be taken away away from you by just having your own opinion that he absolutely hasn't said anything wrong or anything worth losing a job over and anything worth wanting to remove him off anything else as well it's just it, i just find it very extreme and very unfair yeah last thing i want to say on this is that people that say cancel culture is not real are delusional sure there's things that you can say and you have to be held accountable for but costing a man his livelihood because he doesn't lean politically your way you deem his tweets problematic because he doesn't agree with you uh, politically if someone walks up to me and says cancel culture is not real i will dismiss that person they're not worth talking to because even if i get into a discussion with them they've already lost touch with reality we can all observe what's happening around us we all know people that have been removed from their places of work they've had their income cut off for what for having political beliefs or beliefs about how society should be run so cancel culture is 100% a thing it's a dangerous dangerous thing and the ones that advocate advocate for the most it will come for them eventually yeah look what happened to jk rowling she was she was out here talking the most nonsense and then she said something that goes against the mainstream narrative and they turned on her and now she has been removed from her own property harry potter she has but no control over it whatsoever really i yeah. didn't even know that warner brothers removed her ass there was such a big campaign to get her removed from everything Harry Potter related. The people that advocate for this stuff, one day it will come for you. Yeah. In some form, even if you're not a big time celebrity. Okay, cancel culture is literally a virus.